Shalom, I'm Yasharala. Before we go into this lesson, we give all honor, all glory, and all praises to Yahweh, Sokal, Halaliam, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makakwadash. We give that by honor to the apostles and prophets and elders of GMS Khan, but as Great Millstone for the bring for the 100% truth that I've been currently edified under. Shalom to the elect, the tabernacle of David, and I'm your brother Kazaki Asharala coming to you this lesson. Um, dealing with, I would just say, continuation of dealing with what they are trying to produce or bring together bring together as a, 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 a part of the agenda dealing with the bird flu because I've got some recent information that would have been as you see in here that would be a shocker right because um, this was this circulated this morning and I did share it as well as this one so you all could see now remember what they said in the previous information I was given that um, um the, the the plan for this next pandemic dealing with the bird flu is 2030 is what they said this that is, that is their plan now imagine if that that's why that's why i said before they are liars and i did bring on the precept show that they are lying because when you look into it the enemy right always do things according to what they say or they see fit they're not going to give you an exact plan as to when they go and do things like the COVID situation. Look at what took place. Um, from 2013, they have brought in an influenza with very similar mRNA traits um, to give out to the public uh, uh, an yeah, H1N1 vaccine, a, a flu vaccine basically. And it had these similar effects on people. Many people were on a live for it. And the made a, a they, they set a state a stage in order for the next plan demic to take place at 2025 which was supposed to be cove now when did that take place 2019 we see in how they say certain things but they don't go about the way they say it because they don't want you to be prepared you knowing that it's going to happen 2025 you could be like all right well let me start preparing for 2024 or 2023 they they are they, with that now they are, they are easily able to hit you for six and i was a scripture tells you to never trust thine enemy never trust them because they are liars now we have a new bird flu situation coming in as to where they say the plan is to, to for that to be in effect 2030 but yet this is taking place <laughs> You can kiss my ass, well. I'll pause it because you saw. <laughs> right? Santa says an apocalyptic bird flu could wipe out half of humanity. Now, this was published since when? 2020, right? Now, we're seeing the mention of it taking effect today. Because of recent information that I, I posted before. I think I could go back to get it, honestly. Move these. these. Um, if it's here all right um is it do i is it is it is it yeah who's making mention that those who, refuse, who opposes or refuse to take it as you see here right um 194 who countries agreed to arrest citizens who oppose the bird flu vaccine this is in June 6th this month. So we see in here that the it is it that they are setting the stage for this current event to take place. And I see this, like I said before, as a means of the Heavenly Father using this to ramp up Jacob's trouble. Like I said before. Right? So you're seeing that, but they're telling you it's supposed to happen in 2030. But then you're seeing this. Why is this taking place? Larry Black supply of 665,000 pre pandemic. Why are they? So, EU now is. Why are they buy, doing this? Buying 665,000 vaccines on behalf of 15 EU countries with the potential to buy further 40 million vaccines when not a single bird flu case is active right now. Oh, okay. So, so uh, apparently. They are purchasing vaccines for 2030. Now you see. Now we know this thing is this is coming. 
we know this is coming. And this is the reason, as Shifra said, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the words at my mouth and give them, and give them warning from me. Because we know the Heavenly Father, when you see these things, the Heavenly Father, um, when you look at it, is about to really and truly, uh, as scripture says, visit the earth. In other words, ramp shit up. <laughs> you understand? Before Yahweh shall return, things is going to go haywire. It's going to have an uproar, like I said before. So, let me go, let me get back into it. So, this is what they are doing at the current point in time. Even, let me go into this as well because this was a, a situation that was shown that I had to go into. This is 2024. I believe this was in April, which was mentioned. Uh, I saved, I did save the, um, I did, okay, I don't know why that happened. Okay, I did save the information. Um, that was some months, uh, some months ago. And when I look back into it, you see how these things taking place. Um, World, Economic For World Economic Forum orders governments to declare martial law due to the what? Due to the amendment of bird flu pandemic about, a, about to sweep the globe. Now, remember, little to no cases of this, but they're already telling you that they're about to sweep the globe. And I, I did give, give um, got information if this is or was true, which I'm going to show you. This was some information that I've received. Now, if this is true, then we know why they are doing what they are doing at the current point in time. This pandemic has already been set in state to take place. So here what it says. Um, this was from Thomas uh, Massey. It says, where have I seen this before? Because we know dealing with the, the, <laughs> the previous pandemic, right? It says U.S. collaborates with China to make a bird flu to make the blue to make bird flu more contagious and transmissible to mammals this is why you see in, in much more cases they are testing animals which has um, recently have been tested positive for the bird flu this is why they say people who are contaminated with the dairy products that has that that had um how to put it the pathogen of the bird flu to go, come into the hospitals immediately this was something that was being passed around now you're seeing if this is true, this is alleged, even though the information is said there, I cannot, I cannot confirm and say this is an actual fact until I go into it, which I was trying to do, but they wasn't providing the sufficient information. But if this is correct, then we understand why these things are taking place. And as the WHO did say, they were going to pass our laws to those who, op who, who oppose their agenda. We read that in the last video. So, now look at what it says here. It says, um, the bird flu now discovered in the U.S. dairy cattle transmitted at, uh, to at least one human being. How is that? But anyways, it says, we've um, uh, revealed. The U.S. is collaborating with China, which you just read, right? Um, Chinese scientists to, to, to make bird flu strains more infectious and deadly as part of one million dollars i believe project despite fears um, similar tests on un, un, unleashed um covid it says on the second part the blue sorry the bird flu confirmed in texas worker who had contact with dairy cows the persons and in, in the person's infection comes just a day after they was um it was reported that dairy ca cattle in five states including texas tested positive for the virus so you see the avian virus come into fruition the bird flu right so like i said however the heavenly father go about it this is how it's going to take place but remember what we just showed dealing with the martial law situation that they are implementing. Remember, this is what I showed, right? This is what they are doing. They are implementing that martial law to be in full effect. 
And we will read further, it says the World Economic Forum has ordered governments to take necessary um, preparations to declare martial law due to the imminent bird flu pandemic, which they say is a hundred times worse than COVID. This is what they are saying. So it's speculative. This is what they are going into. According to w, um, World Economic Forum scientists, the coming bird flu pandemic will, will kill at least 50% of um, those it infects. I wonder why that is. Do you remember the 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 the, the death shot that was given during the COVID time? Now you understand to break down your immune system, to re to, to to reduce your immune system to nothing, to weaken you, so that when this comes into into effect, you most likely will be unalive. When you piece it two together, now you see why, and we have information showing that it actually does that. All you have to do. Is go into my videos. I've did three long, three 40 minutes or 50 minutes long video breaking down the ingredients from literally the beginning and how it's created and so on and so forth. What is created, what it has been created with the ingredients, what the ingredients does to your body, how it, how it reacts, how your body reacts to it, and how long will it take before you succumb to this if you don't seek um, attention for that at the point in time. I can't say medical attention, but I would say. A cleansing attention, right? It says, as you go further, we had not seen the aviation flu in cattle prior to last week. See, that that is new, as they said, because, and like I said, if that was the truth as to what was stated in the bottom part, showing that they have paid, that they have been paid um, to, to to create this to be released, then we now we understand it's new, right? CDC Director um, Mandy Cohan warned the Washington Post warned the Washington Post this week it is a reservoir for the virus to circulate and potentially change which is in other words as they say to get stronger so as this is about to take place people now is the time that we seek the attention to clean and rebuild so I think I'm going to be going to a little bit more lessons dealing with um, building your immune system simple things that you could get and the more expensive thing that you could get for if you want to get that would be of a, um, a more of advantage but regardless to remove parasitic uh, parasites or let's say pathogens or infectious um, bacterias out of the body and restore the health that you once would have had before this the pandemic before so that we can we are able to what now I would say in the in in if it's the if it's the will of Yawabashi Shai that we are able to overcome these particular um, threats our life as we go out because just remember as the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of Yahweh for the fear of and the strength of salvation for the fear of Yahweh is his treasure right so let's go into it and we know like again I want to go back and stress on this particular um thing dealing with the martial law because this is going to create an uproar like i said before for those who don't know many people are not going to stand for that mandatory vaccination process it's going to have an uproar and especially in the third world countries i don't know about the first but the third world countries don't seem to be quiet about certain things like this and we have seen this many times before so i want to go into a little note i put together and as it says which i started off with and like i said at, and at this current time we are seeing these things about to take effect just as Ezra's, as 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 just said in the prophecies that um that he made known which when you go into second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 1 to 2 it says behold speak thou in the ears of my of in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which i will put in my mouth 
saith Yahweh, and cause them to be written in paper. It says, For they are faithful and true. Behold, saith Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world. This is what he said. I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, that is one. Famine, hmm. Lack of bread and famine of the wood. There it is. Tree, death from sickness. Death which is from sickness. What is that sickness that is being talked about today? That is about to sweep the earth as they say. That bird flu, that avian virus that they are pushing, that agenda they are pushing. So you see, and last but not least, destruction. Hmm. And aside from, um, and I know we speak about that, but that also refers to the the uproar of 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 the people against the government and the system that's going to be taking place. Civil wars, all these things. I would say groups against groups, as we know. These are going to cause a lot of fatalities. Many people are going to be unalive. This is why we need the covering from of Yarabashi Meoshai. So, these things are going to take place. People are going to be unalive by, by bullets, by slaughter, by disease, by starvation. So, as you go on, it says, by torture, as you go on, it says, and destruction, which inevitably means that ICBM in the latter end, which is coming very soon. So, it says, and, and this and we know by this you know who who is the people that, that the heavenly father is using to bring about this this um this these destructions it says for the wickedness for wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled and we are seeing it's being fulfilled because we see the wicked has push is pushing this agenda to wipe out many people this is going to cause this is going to cause a lot of uproar, a lot of, of rebel, rebellion. And as we go in further, as, as we see, let me read from verses 17. 16, and it says, like we read before, it says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, as we see currently um, has been um, hint, hint about to take place. But let's continue. It says, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and their cause or arm of their actions shall stand in their hand. And verse 17, a man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able. Martial law. Let's continue. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled uproar the house shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid uproar destruction a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their house with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation the we are they are, we are going to be seeing people coming in to take your goods and even unalive you if you don't agree and accept what they tell you to do. Verse um, second Isaiah chapter sixteen and verse seventeen and seventy one says, "For there shall be in every place a great insurrection, hmm, an uproar and rebellion." As you go further, upon those that fear the heavenly Father, Yahweh. It says, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Heavenly Father. And, and uh, being as future, like I said, we are seeing this is going to be taking place within um, this, for this bird flu situation. I could see this happening. I could envision this happening. And like I said, yes, speculations, but we know. The times that we are in, at any instance, the Heavenly Father could, could, could use this as a tool to ramp up Jacob's shovel, like it says here. And this is why we, 
which is why we are doing these things to edify you on what's to come so that you don't be um, without that understanding and don't prepare yourself spiritually and mentally more so spiritually and when you go to second edges and this is as it says second edges 9 and chapter 1 verses 1 it says and he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest and seest parts seest part of the signs of the signs past which i have told thee before which we are seeing now they are literally passing leg um laws um, um passing legislations to to, to 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 that no one could go against their agendas they are putting things in place they are purchasing vaccines which is way before the event it isn't even started yet and they've they have already been preparing for this now Again, if it happens, if it don't happen, at least at the end of the day, and I know this is this most likely going to happen. You not most likely it is, but at least you know what the, the plan is. So, and this, I I see this as a means of, like like I said, having a form of total control over the population, if and um and eventually bringing about that. Not eventually, but in the same understanding, bring about the MOTB. This is what I see. But um, this is what I see taking place. When you look at it, that's, this is what you could see come into fruition. Have total control by the use of military system being set in place as a means of control. And then you're going and establish that um, a chip, that RFID, that they have been so much preparing and so much um, um, preparing and I would say, I want to use that word, implementing in certain countries. So, as you go further, it says, then shall thou understand that it is a very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made and therefore when there shall be see, there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world see and then shall thou which is going to be taking place um, via that time we, we, had, we could see it coming then shall thou well understand that the most high speak of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. <clears throat> and it says, For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And verses 6, Even so, the time also of the highest have... Um, have plain beginnings in wonder in wonder and powerful works and and endings in effects and signs and these things are about to take effect so you ha you have to be ready spiritually first in your bashim yahusha and yahweh will cover his elect even if they are in it at that time and as Matthew stated, Matthew chapter 10 and verse 22, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved, as scriptures say. And I myself have seen and been through too much to falter, so I pray that the Heavenly Father, like I put this here, I pray that the Heavenly Father, in uh, in that day, Yahweh boost that faith in me for him to not fold. Because we have seen many people that has come out of this truth, have folded, has been too prideful, has been too busy. I don't want to be in. I don't want to be that. Honestly speaking. So, 
I pray that he put that faith in the yeah, put that, that boost that faith in me for him that I will that I don't fall, that I don't go against, that I don't um, um betray, that I don't fall short, that I don't transgress at that at that point in time. Now so until the end. And as Mark 8 and verse 35 says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the Gospels, which is the hundred percent truth, the same shall save it. And this is why the scripture tells you, Strive for the truth. If that's right, right here, strive for the truth, even um, strive for the truth unto death, and Yahweh shall fight for thee. So I hope this information given here was at least enough to give you an idea as to what's going to take place, because we see in more and more they are setting things in place for this particular pandemic to take effect now they i don't know what name the green and call it but more so uh, more so like the like you see in movies it most likely going to be bird flu pandemic or avian virus either or h5n1 pandemic i don't know what the plan to call it but we know this is coming so Something that they have been planning since they made the first attempt that was successful at, at, in their eyes um, dealing with the COVID pan pandemic. So I hope this information that I brought to you would be edifying and that you know now so that you could prepare because we know how wicked this society is and we know what the Heavenly Father says about Esau Edom. Which is why at the end of it all, we are not going to cease from doing what? Our scriptures say, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. We are not going to stop. We will always continue to prophesy against it until Yahweh return. Of course, when the, when the, when the family of the word is set, then of course we will be silent and we will allow whatever is to happen will happen but shalom yasharala kal halaliam yahawa bahasham yahawa shai bahasham rakakwadash we give double honors to the apostles and prophets and elders of jms but and ask great millstone for the bring forth the hundred percent truth that i've been currently edified under shalom to the elect and the tabernacle of david and i'm a brother kazak yasharala saying to you shalom